So hi, it's me, Tree. I'm outside for one. We're trying this outdoor thing again since Wisconsin has decided to maybe be spring. Mind you, this is early April spring feeling instead of, you know, mid-May, because Wisconsin. Gnome is wandering, wandering their grounds and nibbling on the greens because Gnome is actually a, a wild, wild fae creature. It is nice outside though. I feel like I should have things to talk about, but I don't. I'll think on it. Oh, what a wonderful <laughs> message. Blizzard Star says, I forget who it was, but they got a previous Amy Animal Crossing stream. Someone recommended the Mount Ray Bay Aquarium, which is Animal Crossing streams. That would be me. Uh, but probably also the same. Now is the time in Shakespeare when we drum march. <laughs> I have no idea if this is going to be a good height, so, hi. So, um, yes, I am back inside today. Uh, it is raining and gray and cold, and evidently the outside heard me call it spring-like and decided that we're going to be autumnal again. So, yes, I don't know, I really don't have a whole lot to say this week. It's been like a week, week and a half, two weeks. Um, I read Under the Pendulum Sun for last week's book club, and it was spectacular. It, it's, it's a Venn diagram of all the things I really enjoy. It's like we, we have like it it's better to approach it as a gothic piece rather than a fantasy piece or like a sci-fi fantasy piece just to warn you um but approach it like a gothic you'll be less disappointed um but it has all of the like gothic tropes um like the the woman in the attic and there are a couple different women in the attic <laughs> um 
and mystery and confrontation of uh, the uncanny and the unusual and the world not being as it seems but it also has like hardcore angiology and meditation on the nature of humanity and the soul and it's very post-human and all of that and confrontation of theology it epigraphs like whoa I love a good epigraph um, it, it's there's body horror there's grotesque there's sublime <sighs> fairy culture a little bit of steampunk thrown in <sighs> the moon is an anglerfish which is a, mi a, a minor spoiler but not really with something called Under the Pendulum Sun, you've got to assume that the moon is going to be something equally as bizarre. And book club last week, the author, Jeanette Ning, it's NG, so I'm probably saying it incorrectly, but when she said her name, it sounded like Ning, came to our book club and talked to us. And it was fascinating to listen to her, like, just meditate upon things and how it was just like this intersection of all of her weird interests and where some of the strange things came from. So it's fantastic. It's amazing. It's a chunky, chewy book. Be warned. Um, content warning for uh, missionary theology. Um, there's some gore and consensual sibling incest. So be aware of those things. If there was quick or a trigger, maybe no. Uh, th this week we're reading The Birds, which I'm kind of just like, I don't want to read, but it's like 32 pages long. It's a short story, so I can do that. I can sit down and just like read it and get it out of there. Since we, we ha have a light week this week, um, I've been trying to... to um, re immerse myself into Call Down the Hawk because the first eight chapters of it were amazing. But you know, it's been a bit since I read the first eight chapters, so I'm having to read, read the first eight chapters again. And I still love it. I love Maggie Steve Adder. I love The Raven Cycle. I love Call Down the Hawk. What I've read of it, I love her brain. I love following her on different sock meds and seeing all of the, the nonsense she gets up to. Kavinsky is still my trash prince. Terrible, terrible, terrible boy that he is. Hello, Bean. Little kitten wanders through. He got Mr. Morph one of those big squishy kitty beds. And now he is... He is inhabited, inhabiting it. Look at how sweet he is. He's mine, nobody else's. Um, so I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna try and edit this this week, unless I decide to talk more, you never know what I'm gonna do. When you think I'm gonna zig, I zag. When you think I'm gonna zag, I zag, because I'm keeping you on your toes. So do good, be kind, be brave, and courage.